On, of course, the 80th anniversary of D-Day, the operation at Normandy, where you had 150,000 Allied soldiers storm the beaches there at Normandy. June 6, 1944, what a generation, right? Really and truly, the greatest generation that understood the importance of sacrifice for your country, that understood the importance of freedom. And today, the President of the United States went over to France, and granted, he's 81 and he's slipping. The Wall Street Journal just told us that, right? 45 people they interviewed on both sides, Republicans and Democrats, the other day. He's slipping. And we saw evidence of that today. Now, some of it's been exaggerated in fairness. And there's a clip circulating around on the internet that's not entirely true. I'm going to show you the true one. But let's at least take a little look at this because, I don't know, is it me? Is it me? Or is he falling asleep? I get it. I get it. It's in French. It's in French. You know? <laughs> so he doesn't speak the language. He's probably exhausted from the time change, 81 years old and all. Well, he starts nodding off. Here we go. Oh! And the camera cuts away just in time. But if you look at that, Drew was kind enough to do like a freeze frame there. We're watching it in slow motion. If you look at that, I see Jill kind of creeping closer and closer and closer to him. Do you see that? She's about to say, hey, hon, wake up, wake up. You know, sunny day. They're speaking French. The camera cuts away to the beautiful shot of the flag. Convenient. Well, there was another, another one where, it, was he scratching his head, Drew? In that one, we, we get a few, because I, I got to show you the, the, yeah, take a look at this. Distracted? I mean, you know, Trudeau, he's like a spring chicken out there. Clapping, everybody's clapping. <laughs> you like how that one cuts away, too. The news channel just dropped the feed at that point. Let's watch. So everybody's clapping. Again, Jill seems a little worried. Dr. Jill's like, mm, I could have used that actual medical degree, right? <laughs> She's like, oh, honey, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Everybody's clapping, and you seem to be scratching your head. And then there was this moment. So this is the one that's a little bit of um, a misnomer because it got cut in a different way. You know, it's important in... Um, these these days, right? Like it's very important to to understand what's in the the news that's real and what's not. And one of the clips that made the rounds this morning was of Joe Biden, seeming as though he needed to sit, but not being able to. But here's the truth: in fairness to Joe, he did need to sit. Everybody needed to sit. There was a chair there. It doesn't look like there is, but there was a chair, and it was only that. He was ahead of the curve, ahead of the schedule. It's like he knew what to do next and no one else did. It's kind of a funny thing to see.